Uh, yes, I think uh, uh, we've grown as a team and uh, it's, it's one thing that was an emphasis in, in training camp, I think, with coach and the players and uh, these guys have, have, have done a great job, I think, um, uh, time after time coming out and uh, being prepared and uh, being prepared for other teams and, um, and attacking it as well as they can. So. Um, it's the end of the regular season now, and we go into the postseason, and obviously the stakes uh, become higher. So, um, but uh, I think on the overall, these guys have done uh, have done a great job. Was anything in the season surprised you that came about more quickly than you might have expected? Um, you know, there's always uh, the surprises of fit. You know, um, when when we all you put things together in the off season, and um, but that's um, I think that's the way we we want to approach things here is um, have training camp and your players and and you go in uh, hopefully like well prepared. But um, I think hopefully the players have, have fit in well. Um, I think uh, uh, Kyle and Demar have raised a, a, their level of play um, this season and uh, they've been phenomenal. I think the players around them, uh, one of the questions we used to get is do we play too much ISO, do we, how do we, but I think coach has done a great job and the players have done a great job of um, actually putting an identity to how we play and uh, this is who we are and we're going to make the best out of it and um, these are our two best players and um, the rest of the guys play um, certain roles and I think they've done it uh, beautifully and um, we just continue to grow from there and the players we added I think they've given us something you know at, at different times or uh, and and consistently so um, it's so unfortunate we, we didn't have Damari for the whole season, but um, hopefully he yeah, he continues to um, to get better and and play more. At any point in that Damari time, were you worried that he wouldn't be back this year? Uh, well, I know it was a big thing out there. You know, as if you, uh, people made it out like we're hiding anything. No, you just injuries are injuries, you know, and it takes time for guys to get better, you know, and sometimes it takes it takes longer. Uh, he's not obviously a hundred percent, but um, he's uh, he's trying to head head that way, and um, we'll see how that goes. But um, yeah, inside you, you hope, you worry. Obviously, you um, you brought a player that caliber. You look at our team and. Um, in a dream scenario, you say, "Okay, we had this kind of a season, and what of if that guy, you know, played?" Um, but that's all uh, fantasy in our head too, because <laughs> it could have gone, you know, like a, something else could have happened. You never know. But, um, but we're happy to have him. You know, there's there's a reason why we uh, we got that. Uh, uh, Damari and um, hopefully, you know, and if not, I think the, the guys have shown, you know, that we can continue to play. So um, uh, we just continue being hopeful. Obviously, you guys saw something in Norm when you selected him, but uh, has his progress been a surprise to you, at least how quickly he's progressed? And what kind of a luxury has it been to have him, especially with Damari at less than 100%? Uh, it's been good, you know. But most we all say um, p p opportunity comes, you know, in in the league, and it comes sometimes from uh, something wrong happening. Or um, and uh, this time it was it was Damari and then um, James Johnson and his foot. Um, Norm got the opportunity, but um, we believe in the players we draft. That's why we we try to put in the work, and you hope that you know there's a fit. You hope that uh, these guys can come and get uh, opportunity. Obviously, this year we went for um, four-year players uh, who we thought, okay, maybe they might have just a little bit more um, experience, but. Um, sometimes it's that luck of having, you know, like a fit and the timing, and um, uh, we're, we're happy that you know this is uh, this is happening now. But even happier that um, we have a young player, you know, for the future. And by the way, Delon hasn't been bad either, you know, in the opportunity he's gotten, and Bebe hasn't been bad either, you know. And uh, Bruno has played well in the D League. So our young players, we we feel um, we feel hopeful about. Mm -hmm. Sort of 
Uh, we're a growing team, you know, and I, I think our fan base have been great. They've been awesome, and uh, but um, it's been three years, and it takes time to build, you know, and um, winning takes time. There's plenty of franchises that you know don't uh, don't do well for years or, or keep trying to grow and, and build. But when we look at the progress of our franchise and how uh, and our team and how it continues to grow. Um, I don't know if we can base what we're going to do in the playoffs. We were hopeful that we're going to do well, uh, but to us, you know, like um, uh, you fail, you stand up and you go back and fight just like we did last year and we've come back and fought again. Uh, and so um, the players have continued to grow. Our coaching staff, are, I think, have been excellent and our organization has supported us um, uh, big time in, I think, what uh, someday will come, uh, will, will, I think, equate to um, big time winning. Uh, but um, we're a growing team, I still say that, and I'm not saying that to take pressure or say, you know, like the, to divert any anything, but um, I, I think we have to appreciate, you know, like these guys and the work they've done. Um, there's always the question, so can you shoot three-pointers or is Kyle going to lose weight or are these guys going to be fit? Well, it's our jobs, you know, and these guys have taken responsibility and I think they'll continue to grow. So um, we'll do all we can for our fans and I, I know the guys will try their best. Notwithstanding, notwithstanding all the records the team broke this year, particularly, Where the team is in that process, how you decide where it is, how they do in the playoffs will go a long way to determining where you think this team is in that process. Uh, yes and no. I think we've, uh, again, I say we're a growing team and um, you learn um, with, with the process we learned. I think um, uh, I. I, I take responsibility for if we want to call it a failure last year. I think we we failed in the playoffs. Um, uh, I take responsibility for that because uh, maybe our roster was flawed um, and defensively we were just not um, good enough. Um, so um, we try to get better, you know, and uh, hope, hopefully this year um, is something that uh, maybe we will make a, a another jump and 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 be better. Talked about the growth of the players and their maturation. What have you seen from Dwayne? Oh, he's been he's, he's been uh, uh, phenomenal. I I think um, uh, whether it's reading games or um, or adjustments and um, just growth overall. You know, like as a coach and. Um, to be honest, everybody's you know, makes it such a big deal about you know like okay if we end, if we don't go past the first round you know like what's going to happen. Coach Casey deserves to be the coach. That's a hundred percent. You know like and I I, I stand by that. Uh, he deserves to be our coach in the future because um, he's put in the work. I think uh, to uh, to uh, to to bring winning to our program uh, and um, how how. But the players have responded well, I think, and and um, uh, it's it's translated a little bit. We hope that it translates to the uh, to the playoffs. I I think I, I I am very hopeful that it will because he's a defensive-minded uh, coach. But um, I think he's been uh, he's been tremendous for us. Um, well, I, I think they're good weapons, you know, like to have and good players. Um, uh, I think um, obviously uh, Biz has been such a force for us defensively. Um, we know what Corey has done. He p almost played in uh, so many fourth quarters as an extra ball handler, and we know the way the league is going. Uh, and then Terrence and and Patrick, uh, uh, to me, have been uh, phenomenal. If we want to, I don't know if I can make an argument for sixth man of the year for any of our guys. It should be. Uh, our whole bench, maybe you know, I think uh, it's probably one of the better ones in the NBA. I hope um, from the way these guys have played, really done, um, uh, they've really done well and 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 played well. So they've been they've been special for us. And um, uh, Scola has been has been great. At, at, at his age, he continues to grind and give us that experience. But people don't know also give us that. Um, uh, leadership um, off the court, even and 
And then Kyle and Damar, you know, they, they've, they've grown, you know. Like, I know we see all the <laughs> low antics and the playing behind uh, interviews and micro, but these guys are serious guys. They work. Um, uh, Kyle Lowry is in there working uh, right now. You know, this this is these guys put in the time uh, to uh, to be the best and uh, to try to be on top. So um, uh, we're hoping um, in this second season now that this is this is going to translate, and I'm I'm very hopeful it will. Besides, based on the leadership quality you just spoke about and the experience factor alone, do you think the team overall is better equipped for the postseason this year than the past two? I think so, uh, and I hope so. Um, we, I, I know mentally these guys are ready. You know, like I'm not going to sit here and say, okay, well I've put the players um, that are ready to win now. But um, it's all about mental toughness. It's all about being ready. It's all about preparation. And I think, um, with that regards, I think the players, the coaches, um, I think our whole staff are ready and 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 focused this time. It's it's it's, it's a little different. Um, and then gaining that experience of what happened before. Um, I think is uh, is good for for us. You're not taking anything for granted. Um, you know what the atmosphere is. You know um, all the pressures that's going to come um, and the intensity. So, um, well, 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 I think uh, in terms of preparation, we're hopeful. You know, it hasn't worked for two years, so I think I, <laughs> I think. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'm all I'm all into in, in in that regard. So uh, I think I'll I think I'll stay away. Fans love know how much I I, I love them, and um, I also just had a baby boy, and he eats too much. So I don't know if I had, have enough money. <laughs> so what do you think of the matchup against Indiana? Do you think it bodes well for your team in terms of style of play? And you know these matchups are interesting when you when when you when you think about it. Um, uh, inside your mind, you're playing with you know like who you want, who do you who you don't want, you know. But uh, I've learned over the years that you just um, just <laughs> just go with it, you know. Uh, uh, trust me, we had uh, I was in Denver and I think we might have been three, and <laughs> Golden State was was six, and. I think that was the beginning of the video games <laughs> of uh, Mr. Curry, uh, and and uh, it's unbelievable. You you go in and um, but anybody you play to me, uh, when you look at the East, it could have been two uh, to I, I think one has the best player and one of the best players in the world, uh, and they're a fantastic team. But when I, and I give credit to the East. You know, like the, it's really grown. I, I think it's becoming impactful. Uh, but you look at from two to ten. Uh, uh, I know Chicago and Washington are not in, but you can argue that two to ten, anybody that plays anybody can beat anybody, really. Um, and that's the truth. That's that's the league. We we believe in ourselves, and um, hopefully we we go in prepared and 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 very well equipped um, to compete with anybody. And it happens to be Indiana. I think they're. A, they're a fantastic team, got a fantastic player, and they're a winning organization. We all know that, you know, like that that says a lot about them, a classy organization and um, hopefully we can we we can compete and win. Not to, not to make it maybe about one guy, but you start off the game talking about the Damari. Mm -hmm. But imagine he was the guy that you said that's what we need, a defensive guy at the wing, especially on the playoffs potentially, and here you are now with potentially Paul George, and I would imagine Damari's got a big say in what might happen with Paul George. Uh, we're hoping that it's not rocket science that that's what we were trying to you know that's the kind of guy we're trying to get and again it's unfortunate that you know the injuries are, are just part of our league you know and um, and he's tried his best he's worked the hardest you know uh, to come back we're not going to put him in any position to um, that's that's going to affect his future or affect his future um, um, uh, with that injury. But uh, he's 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 come back, you know. Like he's, he's tried to uh, to do his best, and um, we see it out there. You can see um, the progress, and hopefully there's there's an there's there's an impact. Mark gives, gives you a lot of credit for. What was your role, I guess, in his just staying in touch with him and keeping him positive and the, the rigor 
<laughs> well, um, our jobs is to, I, 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 for me, uh, you have to find that um, that medium where you know how to stay away from the players when when you know like you're not needed and then uh, when you're needed you you can go and encourage them and um, it's a to me it's a simple approach I, I treat them like um, I would like to be treated uh, or I would like to treat my kids because uh, I always say you know um, the the, M the NBA is the, um, the, the players are like your kids you know and you're going to have to treat them you know, like uh, differently. Some there's more attention, some there's less, some. Uh, and, and Demar is just such a great kid, you know, and very humble but tough, um, uh, stubborn at times, you know, like, and so he, 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 our guys are like that, you know. Um, a couple games you try to sit them out, they, they, they don't want to, you know. Um, Kyle made a fuss about sitting out against Antonio, about sitting out in any game, you know, like, well, you have to rest. But that's competitiveness and um, our, the relationship is, is hopefully the same way with all the other players, you know, like, but um, he's, he's a great kid and um, at this time, sometimes they need, um, they need your support. They need to know that, that you're there, you know, because uh, with Demar, he's, it's, it's, it was different. He's played a lot in his career, so um, so yeah. It's, it's uh, hopefully, hopefully we can be there for them.